Hi, I'm Gregor and I'm back with a refactoring tutorial. This time we're looking into framework dependencies. In my code I have a library service and the library service has a create book method. And it just creates books. And it is protected using the preauthorized annotation coming from the Spring Security Framework. It reads nicely, but it has the problem that it is not very testable. I cannot really easily unit test this method without bootstrapping the whole thing with the framework, which is rather slow. I would rather unit test my model without the framework and have a fast feedback for my refactorings in my model. So how do I get rid of this annotation? So let me first unwrap the magic of this annotation and show you what this is really doing. So what this is really doing is it is grabbing from the security context holder, from the context, the current authentication object. This says who is authenticated, what is the user, what is his principle, what roles does he have. And from this object, I can grab the authorities, I can stream over them, and I can check whether any of the granted authorities has the role admin. And the result of this is whether the user is an admin or not. And then the annotation is checking if the user is not an admin, row a new access denied exception. User not an admin. And I did do a mistake, of course. Ah, so, so here I have a missing the get authority method. Now it should work. Yeah, now we are in the green. So this piece of code is really all this annotation is doing. So I should now effectively be able to remove the annotation and run my tests, and we should still be in the green. And we are. So this is nice, but the code is still not very testable. My overall design goal is to have a login object, and I want to pass the login object to this create book method, so I'm able to pass fake login objects in my unit tests. So for this reason, I will now extract this as a method, and I will call this method assert user is admin, because this is really what the method is doing. And I will move this method into a new delegate class. I will extract a delegate class called login okay and what this does is first of all my method assert user is admin becomes unused it is grayed out so i will remove that and as you can see it has created a new field the login field and the login field is the object delegate class it has created and it carries the assert user is admin method so this is the login object, you can see it, and there is all the code with the Spring Boot logic. But I really don't need the field at all. I would rather have this login object passed as a parameter. So I will inline the field, and I will extract the login object as a parameter. So I can pass it in my unit tests. And finally, from my login object, I will extract an interface and I want the interface to be called login. So I will rename this class more specifically to Spring Boot Login. So this is a Spring Boot Login class and it implements the login interface. And what this does is my library service now only depends on the login interface. And I have one implementation for the login interface that is the Spring Boot login. And the Spring Boot login 
holds the Spring Boot code and the login only defines the interface. So I can effectively move the Spring Boot login class out of my model. Okay. So for this piece of code, I have now inverted the dependency. This is the dependency inversion principle. My model depended on the framework and now it is the other way around basically. Now basically my infrastructure code with Spring Boot depends on my model. So I have inverted the dependency and this makes my code really easily testable. If I now wanted to unit test this, I could just create a admin login and the admin login doesn't throw the exception and I can make a test with this admin login and I can make another login object that throws the exception because it is not an admin and call the create book method with that object. And these kind of unit tests would not have to bootstrap the whole framework. So the tests would be really fast. They would be finished within sub seconds which is perfectly nice for refactorings in your model. So you can see now the compilation fails. I will save and run my tests and we should be in the green. Yeah, we are in the green. So this is one way you can invert the framework dependencies caused by annotation based authorization code. Maybe you can find a better solution. Maybe this does not fit you. Let me know in the comments. And you can find the code on my GitHub. I will post the link in the description. Thank you. See you next time.